Carlos. All right, Liz, thanks very much. September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. So let's talk about what that means. Uh, uh, let's talk to urologist from Scripps Clinic, Dr. Uh, Ramdev Kanan. <laughs> we, we rehearsed this earlier. Yeah. We rehearsed it earlier. Nice to have you here, doctor. Thanks for having me. All right, so this is Prostate Cancer Awareness Week, and we were talking just before the interview about, uh, you know, the when I turned 50, they said, all right, now you've got to get yourself checked. And why is that important, and, and why is that significant? Well, uh, it was significant in the past because we thought that all prostate cancer was the same and we wanted to make sure that anybody who was identified to have it should get treated but what we've learned over the last uh, maybe 15 20 years is that we've over treated prostate cancer by virtue of over detecting it mm. however there's still a small minority of individuals who do benefit from being treated for prostate cancer and now we've sort of made our recommendations a lot more nuanced so you're talking about risk factors family that's history right. that sort of thing that's right so as opposed to just screening everybody, we like to have an informed discussion with our patients to make sure they understand the risks and benefits of screening. Because if you are found to have prostate cancer and you do have to go through treatment, the side effects of the treatment can be really difficult to deal with potentially. Uh, it can be urinary leakage, it can be loss of your sexual function, it can be uh, fatigue uh, related to hormone therapy and hot flashes. So we certainly want to make sure we're treating the people who really will benefit from the treatment as opposed to those who may not if they're ultimately going to pass away of other causes anyway. Yeah, what are the symptoms? Is she, are there symptoms? Can, can men actually feel something? Well, most prostate cancer is uh, you don't experience symptoms until it gets more advanced, but sometimes individuals can have blood in their urine, trouble urinating. Uh, really, we like to think about when we talk to men about screening for prostate mm -hmm. cancer, so we worry more about men of African ethnicity. Uh, we worry more about individuals with a family history of both prostate or breast cancer. Uh, and we it, it certainly think about a little bit about individuals who are on testosterone replacement therapy, although that remains a controversial issue as to whether or not it contributes to prostate cancer. How's that? Uh, we don't really know if it's the chicken or the egg, mm. so to speak. So if it's the fact that you have low testosterone to begin with and something about the biology that puts you at risk uh, to getting prostate cancer versus being on testosterone replacement therapy that could potentially increase your risk, it's probably the former and not the latter, but there's still a lot of research that's being done to sort that out. All right, so are you are you still recommending yearly, uh, yearly checkups? We don't. The United States prevented Services Task Force has released recommendations now that say individuals should consider getting screened between the ages of 50 and uh, 70, I believe, or 55 to 70, uh, if they have those risk factors that we mentioned. Otherwise, you should do it uh, just based on the basis of an informed discussion with your primary or general physician. I understand there's something new happening at Scripps with, with regards to cancer research and cancer treatment with the MD Anderson School. That's right. So. Uh, we uh, are in the process of entering into a collaboration with MD Anderson Cancer Center to really provide the highest level of, and standards of cancer care to our patients. And uh, we expect that the, all the components for that collaboration to be in place in the fall, and we'll have a lot more to tell uh, folks about it around that time. That's very cool. Yeah. Uh, let's just, just, I just want to wrap this up very nicely and say to folks, if they haven't been, if you're in that age group and, and you may have or may not have a risk group, if you haven't been checked in the last five to ten years, you should probably always a good idea. If you haven't been seen by your doctor in the last five to ten years, you most certainly should be. I think in general a person should see uh, their uh, physician ideally at least once a year, especially after the age of 50. And as it relates to the prostate cancer issue, having a long talk with your uh, general physician or your uh, urologist can be very helpful. Yeah, look, it's a, it, it can be embarrassing. I haven't gone through it myself. It's one of those things, though, that you want to get out of the way. You want to do it and want to make sure, right? That's right. Okay. Doctors, thanks so much for being here. Thanks Appreciate for having that. Yeah, I appreciate it. My pleasure. Yeah. All right. Uh